Hello there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your October 2022 reading for your career and finance. Actually, if you come across it at another time, then you're meant to see it. You're led to the channel to see it, then it's meant for you. Now let's start out with what do you need to know about your career or your business? Let's see here. We're starting out with Three of Summers, Hummingbird. You have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, a birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. Now, okay, now we're trying to do a career in finance. So as far as the Three of Cups would be considered, this is bonuses. This is networking. This is work celebration. So getting together with others as far as something to do with work. Making some contacts here. Okay, and then we have the Princess of Spring. Okay, the Princess of Spring, and that would be the Page of Wands. So we have energetic, outgoing, optimistic, creative. Monarch Butterfly, creative opportunities that you feel passionate about are fluttering your way. Personal growth and broadened horizon will spark fresh and original ideas. And is so with the Princess, this would be the page. So this is like maybe someone coming towards you with an offer. This could be a new position, a creative projects. It also could be a breath of fresh air, something new and exciting. Um, this could be someone contacting you first by email, phone call, text. Um, but yeah, there's something coming in for you guys. And then we have the six of spring. Okay. This is nice. We got three. I don't know why I want to call this three. I want to call this a three for some reason. Feels like a three energy for me. I don't know why. Okay, well, we have a six here. Okay, so rescue dog mixed breed. And this is would be like the six of wands. So this would be like a victory. So you may receive a promotion, be chosen for a scholarship, or find that you're singled out for a special recognition. You've done an amazing job and you deserve all the attention. Nice. Yeah, so things are going your way. This is like you're at the finish line. Um, completion of a project, recognition for your talents. Okay, let's clarify now. Why do we have the three of summer here? Okay, we have the eight of swords because you felt stuck here with the eight of swords. This is feeling trapped when you're really not trapped. This is you're you're mentally keeping yourself trapped in a situation that is not there. This is a mental prison. This is maybe feeling restricted somehow or blocked in, a, in any way here, but you're not. Change your, um, the way you're thinking and get yourself out of that. Okay. Now, um, what about the Princess of Spring? We have the Knight of Wands coming towards the Princess of Spring. Ooh. So this is, um, this is just saying that something that you're passionate about, or it could be a person too, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Same with the page of, um, the Princess of Spring, which is a page of wands. I get confused trying to explain these back and forth, but I want to make sure I tell you where, what they mean in the Rider Waite um, deck too. So this isn't, um, this is passion. This is freedom loving. This is, um, this is also a person that's jack of all trades. So it could be saying that your people are getting noticed. You're getting noticed because people are noticing, Hey, Sagittarius could do a lot of different things. They're not just with the position that they're doing. They can do more than that. And you're getting noticed for that. Okay. Now what about the six of spring? We have faith. All right. This is the Hierophant card in the regular deck. So, um, this is coming up as a faith card. So this is Taurus energy. And this would be, um, you know, financial advisors, um, vocational training, maybe values and integrity. This is also committed. You're committed to something here. And by being so committed, that's why you're getting this recognition because of your commitment, commitment to what you do here. Okay. Now on the bottom deck here, we have the queen of swords. This is, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And also with the queen of swords, this would be maybe someone Maybe be maybe you're intimidating someone, or so you, someone is you feel intimidated by someone else, or someone that's hard to please. This also, but a straight shooter. This person speaks their truth, whether this is you or someone else. We do have the five of sp uh, spring here, which would be like the five of wands, which with the five of wands, this would be like, you know, some kind of drama, some kind of challenges, stiff competition. Okay, now with this, it says here. 
occasionally you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize a co the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. So there might be something coming in. You know, people sometimes they get a little jealous when they see someone else achieving something. You know, so keep that in mind too. Let's see. What can you do to move forward? The Four of Autumn. So this is like the Four of Pentacles. These are squirrels hanging on to his nut there. <laughs> He's hanging on for dear life. You can't have this. No, this is mine, 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 mine. You know, so um, this is be cautious about living a life of extremes or seeing things in black and white terms. Consider, for example, whether you are spending too much versus hoarding your wealth or giving too much emotionally versus building walls that keep people out. So this could either be holding back or... Um, Someone else could be holding back from you. It, it feels like a scarcity feeling here. So, um, so don't, you got, don't feel like you're in that mode because whatever you think about, you're going to bring about. So you don't want to feel like there is lack because then you'll get lack. Okay. Let's see here. We have four of summer. So this would be four of cups, tortoise. It says your, re your responsibilities may distance you from noticing all the gifts that God is presenting to you. Be open to investigating opportunities that come your way. So this is saying that, you know, you might miss an opportunity. This is like the Four of Cups. You might, an offer might come in and you'll say, nah, I don't think I want that. But you know what? It might be more than you think. It might seem small to start, but it might grow into something more. So don't um, pass by. An, this really stands for a missed opportunity. And um, being maybe bored or dissatisfied with something or just doing the same routine over and over again. That happens too with that card. Okay, one more. The chariot. So things are going to move. So if you feel this stagnation or this not moving or, well, things are going to start moving for you. We have the chariot. The seven here. This is um, it's cancer energy. Arabian horse. You can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through determination and focus. You earn the rewards and recognition you're receiving. So you keep on saying that you're earning rewards. You're getting recognized. People are noticing you. You may not think so, but they are. So this is a go for it attitude. This is um, business trips or um, this is also someone that is driven to see. There's, there's like you got this fire underneath you that is like pushing you. I feel like a, someone is really feels like they're being pushed. They're driven. They're like, I don't know what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it. <laughs> Like that kind of energy. I know it's almost feeling like, you know, you have to do this. Like there's something deep down inside. You say, you know what? I just know I have to do it. It's your intuition. Okay. And of course with cancer, you know, cancer also is um, associated with the high priestess. So yeah, I'm feeling that very intuitive energy, that push. Okay. Now we have the bottom deck. We have princess of summer, sensitive, kind, open-hearted, inexperienced, dear. You can expect to, Kindle a new romantic relationship or close platonic friendship. You may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event. Now also this would be like the page of cups. So with the page of cups in like your career and finance, this would be, um, you know, trust your vibes. Cause that's why I feel a very strong intuition here. And this is also being very artistic, artistic endeavors coming up, or it could be, a message coming in, a message of hope for you. Okay, um, let's clarify the Four of Autumn, which would be Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. Okay, then the Five of Cups is feeling a lack here. So, um, being in the career um, thing, this would be like setbacks, maybe a demotion. The company downsizing, you know, it's can we have the five of cups already. Can we? Maybe not. Let's spend another reading. Okay. So here's the five of cups. So, you know, but keep the faith, keep positive, and things will work out in your favor here. Okay, now what about the four the four of summer here? The Emperor, okay, coming and in, stepping into your power here. I like this. The Emperor is Aries energy, but it could be, I mean, definitely your reading, so it could be you. This is a plan of action. This is maybe masculine authority. Um, and this is also financial responsibilities. This is taking charge, being a leader here, being in control. Taking control. If things don't seem like they're going right or you don't like the way things are going, 
take control of the situation. That will help you move forward. I'm mean, asking what you can do to move forward. And you're going to be moving forward because this is a major arcana. So you're moving forward. <laughs> okay, let's see. Why do we have the um, chariot? We have here. Ooh, we have the ace of coins, the ace of pentacles. Okay, so there's some kind of new offer coming. This is a secure offer. This is a golden opportunity. This is also saying, okay, you're going to be in the right place at the right time. That's why I'm saying, I feel like you're being driven to go somewhere or driven to do something. Like if you get an idea, say, I don't know why, but I feel like I want to go to so-and-so or I want to go get a coffee right now. I don't really know why. And you might meet someone or something might happen. It's saying you're just paying attention to your intuition here and it's going to lead you on the right path. Uh, new opportunities. New. This is also starting a new business or something new here financially and we have here the seven of cups you might have many options too with the seven of cups here so this might be too many options might be confusion get rid of um you know get get rich um get rich schemes i can't you know this mercury rectory i'm having a hard time getting my words out i'm sorry but um yeah this is like don't fall to and get rich screen schemes or something like that but this is being very imaginative. Your imagination could be on fire at this time too. And um, also you got so many different opportunities coming in. It's going to be confusing. And of course you don't want to um, lock anything in during Mercury retrograde. So wait until that's passed. Okay, let's see. How can you be more financially successful? Unless it's, it's something coming back from the past. Then it says an opportunity that you missed before and it comes back. Then that's okay. Now, ego here, th number 13. So with the number 13 card, I think this is, um, oh, this is, the, no, I'm sorry, it's 15. I'm, oh, my gosh, I'm seeing 13 as 15. I'm seeing the wrong numbers now, too. <laughs> oh, my God, this is the devil. Okay, so ego is the devil anyway. You may feel that you're trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking. Also, you could be dealing with uh, Capricorn. So this is like someone that is, um, don't focus so much on what you're going to be able to uh, get financially. Um, just focus on how you can achieve more in your life to be more satisfied is what I'm feeling for that. Okay, now we have 13. Oh, isn't that weird how we go from the eagle? And then we have a pretty proud peacock <laughs> for release. So release this energy here. We have the peacock. It's time to release the past and move on to something new. The ending is the first step on the way to a happier future. And this, the thir number 13 is the death card. So this is an ending for a new beginning, a transformation. Um, yeah, so this is, um, Scorpio energy. Okay, and then we have Prince of Summer. Okay, so this would be the Knight of Cups. So, um, romantic, flirtatious, introspective, and chanting. Frog, a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Things can move very quickly during such with whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your intellect. Now, also with this being the Knight of Cups. This is saying that you're very creative this time. You're very persuasive and very charming. And it's also that people are going to be almost like falling in love with your ideas or, or just you're just able to capture people's hearts here. Um, yeah, very and um, enchanting is the word I'm hearing. Okay, and then we have the Princess of Summer, which I read that already on the bottom, right? Yeah, okay. We'll do it again though. Sensitive, kind, open-hearted, in experience you can expect to kindle a new romantic relation or chase or choose or close platonic friendship you may suddenly receive an emotional message from someone or be invited to a social event so maybe there is something coming in with the social event that is also could be like a business type of deal and then it might you might meet someone I and mean, we do have the princess and the prince of summer so that looks like, like a pretty good match oh look who wants camp there's going to be a message coming in look at that so we have the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. There is going to be some kind of message coming towards you. This could be an offer for a new position here. This could be, um, yeah, this could be a creative project. But yeah, someone might be wanting to contact you here. Oh, oh. Let's see here. Why do we have, and that was for the ego, so. Hmm. 
expect some kind of communication and that will help you here move on to something better and now we have the release card the death card and we have the four of swords this is taking a time out so with the four of swords this is um this is sleep on something if you're confused about it maybe might be a little frustrated but take some time out meditate this might even be taking a vacation oh wow um, it's like it, the clouds must be moving because it's getting darker here <laughs> okay and then we have the princess of summer and we have the five of wands this is drama you know this is someone causing some kind of chaos chaos Ooh. challenges this um stiff competition So yeah, there, you might be um, beating out the competition here because you are getting ahead of everybody else here. This, I can't believe how this is getting darker and lighter here. Okay, and then we have Justice at the bottom, Libra Energy. So this is um, contracts, legal matters, you know, weighing in the fairness, things working out for you, balancing things out, having something that's fair. Okay, now, where or what do you need to improve? Let's see here. Where or what do you need to improve? Oh, we have the six of winter. Okay, this is moving on from something. So we have rescue cat mixed breed. The challenging times are coming to an end and you can now breathe a sigh of relief. Let the past go and embrace the happier times ahead. So you might be moving. You might be changing locations. You might be changing jobs. You might be changing jobs without, in the company or you might just be moving on. This also might be the fact that you might have to move in order to improve your life because um, this is like where what do you need to improve you might be able to you know take advantage of the situation when you get to move on because that's going to help you and also um with the six of winter was saying this is you know a, a reduction in stress the changes is in position or a vacation or um, a holiday because we also have the four of swords here and the six of winter so that's also like the six of swords so yeah you could be taking a vacation at this time and then we have the king of winter which would be the king of swords Aquarius Libra Gemini so we have intellect impartial respected unemotional humpback whale at this time, it's very important that you communicate clearly, be objective and unemotional, and act as professionally as possible. If you need advice, seek out the most experienced expert you can find. And the next one we have, Queen of Autumn, which is a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So this is um, the Belgian here. You will be given advice that's both practical and creative and should be followed precisely. Focus upon only upon the positive in every situation or person so here it is that you're looking for an expert and you're going to be getting advice so it looks like wherever you're moving away for it to get this information is coming in here it could be from Aquarius Libra Gemini it could be from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn but these cards actually go together quite well here for this where you need to improve you need to get some a better maybe a better handle on stuff or a better way of doing things now we have the nine of spring the gazelle you're working hard and what you've created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry. You'll get through them just as you have in the past. So this is saying if things come up for you, realize that you have the power, you have the ability, you can do it. You did it before, you'll do it again. Now the six of winter. Let's clarify that. The lovers. Ooh, okay. This is the choice card. So this is also... Um, you might be working together with others for a common goal here. This is like a partnership. Um, this is also you need to face a decision. And as, if it's a partnership, it would be a very beneficial partnership. Gemini energy. Okay, what about the King of Winter? And we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Wow, here you are. So with this coming up on this King of Winter this is like um being very cooperative in something it's patience is the key here and um also it's a very relaxed atmosphere it's like you're leaving something here to come into a more relaxed atmosphere a better um a better environment okay what about the queen of autumn we have here the queen of cups 
Okay, so with the Queen of Cups, this is a um, someone that is, well, they're very content in life. They, this, this means that you'll be finding your purpose. And money isn't everything with this Queen of Cups. This person is very loving, caring. They'd rather be happy. They'd rather be in their emotions. And um, also, they're very intuitive. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, so this is revitalizing something here. This is a very lucky time, a lucky break. This is fulfilling. And it's very positive, this energy coming in. So you're going to be very happy at whatever you're doing here. Okay, now let's see. Oh, I left someone on the table. I left the Queen of Summer, which is the Queen of Cups on the table here. So that sounds emphasizing. That's going to be very important right now in your life to feel that very nurturing, caring. And um, I almost feel like even with the ego here, I'm going back to this. I feel like, yeah, it's not so much the material wealth. It's like being happy within, being emotionally happy and satisfied. Uh, what or whom is the obstacle you need to overcome? Prince of Spring. Okay. So this would be the Knight of Wands. Ooh. So there might be a Don Juan, Don Wanda around you. They might overcome. Okay. So it's passionate, charismatic, confident, restless. Dolphin. Opportunity arises that needs your attention right away. Moving quickly is important. Yet there's nothing you can't handle if you follow your inner guidance. So maybe this is going to throw you. This Something's going to come in out of the blue. And it's going to surprise you. And you're going to have to... um addressed it right right away it seems like and also with this this is a lot of passions it's freedom loving and this is also maybe a jack of all trades with the um the knight of wands maybe there'll be things that you'll have to just do like you're not used to doing it but you'll figure it out because you you have that um ability where okay maybe you never did it before but you'll figure it out you know how to use your noggin. Okay, now we have the Emperor again. Wow. So this Aries energy. This is Deer Mouse. Structure and organization are important right now. Don't be afraid to take on a leadership role as you have much wisdom to offer. Yeah, this is like saying you have this with the Jack of all trades with the Emperor. You can figure it out. So it might feel like something comes up. And you're like, oh, I don't know how to do this. I never did this before. You know what? You'll, you'll do it because you have the Emperor saying with the Prince of... Um, spring here. You'll be able to handle this. So let's see what else we have here. This emperor too is like, you know, it's just things just feeling right. Like a plan of action. You'll you'll figure out how to do this. Okay. Ace of Autumn. Which would be the Ace of Pentacles. So um, this is this is a calico cat. You can expect a windfall or abundance such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous meeting, or rewarding advice, you may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion, or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. Whoa, look at that. I love this. It's the Knight of Wands, the Emperor, and the Ace of Autumn really go nicely together. So this is this offer would be very secure. This is like a golden opportunity. This is being at the right place at the right time, because you're going to take the leap of faith. Even if you feel a little nervous about doing something, you're going to be able to do it. Just trust yourself. Trust in the universe is giving you what you can't handle here. And this is the princess, uh, the princess spring. Let's clarify it with, oh, the knight of coins. So this would be knight of coins, knight of pentacles. This is being dedicated, hardworking, and also um, a very valuable asset. And that's why people see a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. What about the emperor? The moon. Okay, so things might be hidden. Might be... um. You know, a little confusion here, maybe, with the moon, Pisces energy. Um, this is a mystery. This is also facing your fears. It's unclear face, but you can do this, is what I'm feeling here. You feel a little nervous about something, but you can definitely do it. And you're going to be so glad you did. Because the outcome is going to be well worth a little bit of um, nervousness. Okay, and this Ace of Autumn. Ten of Swords. Okay. So with the Ten of Swords here, this is, um, you know, maybe cutting your losses and something in order to do something here. It's a necessary change, though. Something's coming in that I think that you're changing from feeling this lack and this loss and this something being over into this Ace of um, Pentacles, Ace of Coins. We have the Page of Cups. 
So with the Page of Cups, this is saying, um, Scorpio Cancer Pisces, this is saying trust your vibes. Um, there's some kind of very artistic endeavor coming up for you. And it's also a message of hope. It's all going to be all right. Oh, I keep on feeling like it's all going to be okay. It's going to work out. Okay, what is coming in the near future? The Eight of Summer. Okay. Eight of Summer is a kangaroo. You feel that there's more to life than what you're living. So it's time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you. Or per perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're in control. Now, this would be like the Eight of Cups. Walking away from something that long, no longer serves you. Um, walking to sell your happiness here. This is breaking out, breaking free, moving onwards. Bigger and better things are on the horizon for you. And then we have the World card. See? Completing a cycle to start something new. And we have the Shetland Sheepdog. Congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you are out what you set out to do, which is this what you felt confused about here. You're doing it. You did it. And it said you made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered you with grace and courage. See, that was a lesson to get out there and do with something that you maybe were a little nervous about doing. But you got it. You definitely have it. So this is a ending of cycles um, to start something new. This is also going to represent world events. It's um, final destination. It's um, conclusion reached at the end you know you're gonna real you're gonna realize something you didn't realize before okay and then we have seven of spring the gecko so this is be assertive believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely so with the seven of wands this is this is saying that you know you're pushing through you're you're just keep on going and um you're holding your own and you're defending yourself for whatever happens, whatever comes up here. Let's see if we have at the bottom here. Oh, the Prince of Autumn. So we have trustworthy, dedicated, protective, and funny. Seahorse. It's important to make a detailed plan before starting any new endeavor. Once you have that plan in place, then you can take immediate action and get as much accomplished as possible. Wow. Yeah, so you got this. It just feels like this person, this person, <laughs> this seahorse is hanging out with the tail here. You know, this is, just feels really good. So the Prince of Autumn would be the Knight of Pentacles, which is very dedicated, hardworking, and um, a valuable asset, which we had here. So we have this again here. Okay, so now, Eight of Summer. Let's see. King of Cups. Okay, so with the King of Cups, this would be someone that um, they people admire you for your actions, how you handle things. You and it's also saying that you love what you do here. You're moving away from something that you are not happy with to something that you love what you're doing now. Um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces with the King of Cups. What about the World card? We have the Hermit. Ooh, going within, healing. You know, finding your inner strength is what I'm getting right off the bat from this. This is like self-contained. Um, you're able to... Time management is great on this card, too. And, um, you know, you take on a challenge, you can do it. You are... This person looks very strong, very confident. And you might be even saying, after you complete a cycle, you might say, you know what? I need a little break. I need a little time to myself. And just go within, do a little healing, and then come back out. You know, to do what you got to do here. And then we have the Four of Cups on the bottom, which is, you know, make sure you don't miss any opportunities coming up because there are going to be many opportunities coming up and there might be something that you might say, eh, I don't think so. And it might be better than you think. Okay, now why, why am I mixing these cards? I need to do these. Okay. Seven of Spring. Why do we have the Seven of Spring here? Oh, we have the tower, but it's in reverse. So, there might have been something that was... I almost feel like there was something that was supposed to happen or something. It's um, But you you avoided this tower by taking the leap. Because if you didn't, I think, you know, when you don't do what you're supposed to do, the tower comes in and it makes things change for you. So, I think you avoided something here. And um, this is used like shocking news, come, something coming out of the blue, unforeseeable events. And, um, yeah, so... You avoided something here. And then we have... I got the deck upside down. 
two of wands, right? Okay. All right. So maybe this is supposed to come forward here. But anyway, this there might be a shocking news for you here because I might have just had the deck upside down. But I'm going to read it this way because I did that. Um, because it just feels better too. But something coming in, it's either you're... Some people might... Exp experience something shocking something come out of the blue um and then you're going to defend yourself whatever the case is or you avoided this because i really feel strongly that you know i know for a fact i mean it happens i've been through it if i don't take care of something that's been pushed in front of me by the universe then the universe makes sure that <laughs> it it does what it's supposed to do to get me where i'm supposed to be and that's what that's all about now let's see what we have here what or whom is helping you King of Springs, that would be the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, inspiring, dramatic, ambitious, wise, Katanga line. Now that, now, wait, now is your moment to step up to leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight as you, plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. That's what's coming in for you. This is like you're being, um, put in a better position. Look at the size of this lion next to that tree with the bird in it. It's like it's like you're very powerful, very you're getting noticed is what I'm I'm feeling here very strongly. And this is you could also be a mentor. And this could be starting your own business. Because it just feels like you're branching out or something. And very you're very motivational. Okay, and then we have But you could have um a Aries Leo or Sagittarius helping you, but I feel like this is your energy. Okay, now we have the magician. So yeah, you're manifesting here. You're doing this. And it's like unicorn. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. And for me, the magician is Aries and Aquarius. But this is I feel you could be having someone else helping you helping you manifest, but I just feel very strongly you're especially I'm still getting pulled over to that chariot. Like all of a sudden something someone lights a fire under your butt and you take off is what I feel. I don't know. Um then we have five of autumn manatee. Focus being on focusing on the negative or worrying about money or your career can block your progress because your trust and faith are at a low point right now. It's not the best time to start your own business or become self employed. I don't know. That's not for everyone, but of course, that's, you know, this is a general reading. But we're going to clarify those. And we have the 10 here, the wheel, reindeer, caribou. Expect a sudden positive change in your life. You can now move forward and make great progress. See, this is, see, this is like going forward. This, and all of a sudden, there's, it almost feels like, okay, this is what you're capable of doing. And this is that self doubt. That is like, you, all you need is one little negative thought. And it could put the kibosh on all your positive thoughts. So if you get a negative thought, say cancel, 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 say cancel three times, and then replace it for a positive so that you don't manifest that negative. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the King of Spring here? Ooh, the King of Coins too. Wow. See, this is you. I don't know. Unless you have a whole bunch of people helping you that are in high places that are very um, prestigious or, you know, they have a lot of power somehow. I don't think so. I think this is your card. I think this is... um. You're like you're becoming a head honcho. You're um, very driven and I don't know. It's very influential. It's very stable, reliable. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, and then what about the magician here? Two of coins. Okay, so two of coins. This is multitasking, um, being very adaptable. It also could be a fluctuation of money here. It might be going in and out with the money. And that would make you go back and forth. Because these are two opposites. You have the Magician, then you have the Five of um, Autumn here. It's like, what? How opposite can you get here? And then we have here the Nine of Cups. See, I wish for, all these are positive for step one. The one, that little, one little, little, little uh, speck of doubt. Don't let it creep in. So here we have the Nine of Cups. And this is um, a jackpot. This is... Um, a dream job. This is um, personal fulfillment. It's your wishes and dreams come true. Okay, now we have the bottom. We have judgment. Something coming back around, maybe. Something you gotta look up. It could be a wake-up call, too. A second chances. You know, you're pe uh, waiting for results here. Now, your potential outcome. We have 
The five of winter, Kali dog, your current path isn't leading you towards the happiest possible outcome, so why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to the hidden agendas of others. Now, this is other people trying to cause conflict. So if people see you're approving your, you know, something going good in your life, they, you know, sometimes they get jealous and then they start trouble. So um, with the five of winter, this would be the five of swords. This is also could be um, with a career and finance, could be poor leadership. It could be a bullying behavior or, or a lot of conflict at work. Okay, and then we have unity. Okay, I like that. We Here we have a five, a five, and a five. Fives are changes and we have three fives right over here so now with the unity this is the hierophant polar bear it's um embrace the time of deep spiritual growth you may feel called to act as a mentor find a new teacher or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path so this is um this is change so it's definitely change so the hierophant this is value and integrity this is this also could be some kind of an, a financial advisor you're going to or it could be also vocational training and then we have the King of Summer, which is the King of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, the Penguin. And we have a trustworthy person or relationship enters, enters your life. You may receive wise and compassionate advice from someone who speaks direct, directly from their heart. And then with the King of Cups in this, um, this would be like, this could be a counselor too. Maybe you're getting advice from a counselor here. But this is also you know loving what you do taking care of things and then we have here the eight of autumn which is the eight of pentacles so be parrot it's a perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school taking a seminar or conducting research do your best work and the law of attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement which we have there too with the learning here there's a couple cards that came out that maybe you might be um, learning something new or going back to school so what about this five of winter Let's see here. Nine of Swords. Someone's worried about this conflict at work or what's going on here. There's too much, you know, but you can't do anything about it. And, you know, with the Nine of Swords, this is insomnia. It's like a victim mentality. It's clouded judgment. People might be trying to mess up your head here. Don't listen. Get away from them because they're just like to cause chaos. Okay. And let's see about the unity here. We have the death card. So this is Scorpio energy. This is endings for new beginnings. Transformation here. This is major. This is big. You have this with the Hierophant. I think you're transforming your life into something that is going to be more committed, more, you know, more, you'll be happier here. But this, um, the death card coming up is a, you know, it's an inevitable change. You can't, and this is blessings in disguise. So if something ends, it's for your own benefit here. And this King of Summer we have the empress nice now the empress is one of the most abundant cards in the deck so male or female does not matter it's the energy of the empress this is fertile um investments this is i mean this is feminine authority but it doesn't have to be it's could be we both have the male and then the female and the male and um energies in us so this could be tapping into your feminine energy if you're a male and this is prosperity this is abundance this is a very lucrative outcome this is when you get the empress this is giving birth to new ideas being very creative at this time it could be a new business that you're starting that you're going to love because of the king of summers here and um the empress is labor taurus energy and then we have the six of wands the last card now is the victory card this is like you know you're in the spotlight it's um you're at the finish line. You're getting recognized for all your talents. And it's completing of a project. And people are admiring you. People, you know, congratulating you. Nice card. Okay. Now, let's see here. Let's see what signs you could be dealing with. <clears throat> okay, someone wants to speak to you now. Wait until the end of the reading. So that's pretty good. Okay, what signs might be coming up for you? We have Cancer. Libra, <clears throat> Aries, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay, so Cancer, Libra, Aries, Virgo, and Capricorn. This could be placement chart, placement other people chart. This could be people that you presently work with, people you did work 
work in the past, people you're going to be working with, you know, someone that's involved in your career, your finances that you could be dealing with. And then we have Aquarius here too. So the signs we have, um, this is past, present, future. So Cancer, Libra, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. Look at that. They're all different. No dupes. Okay. Now let's see. We're going to do 11 letters. And this be, um, initials, first name, last name. Um, and all, if you know the first and last name and someone has a middle name, you get that initial, all the better. Past, present, and future of people that you could be dealing with here. H, Q, O, L, J, J, S, W, W, D, and K. So letters we have for you today are H Q O L J J S W W D K. Now for the names of people that you could be dealing with: co-workers, bosses, ex-bosses, associates, um, clients. You name it. See who comes up. They might be very prominent in October for you. Let's see. We have. Aziz, A Z I Z. We have Lupe. We have K R E K Y R E E M. We have Francis, Chase, Corin, C O R R Y N, Elijah, E L I J A H, Chatel, S H A T E L. We have Alexis, Thomas. Carlene, C-A-R-L-E-E-N, Marilyn, and Bert. So we have 13. Okay, those are names. Now remember, guys, these are general readings. They are not personal readings. Please just take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. And it really helps my channel. And I love you so much. And I appreciate all you like, share, subscribe, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.